Hey guys, after you watch this video, please go check out shootingtarget7.com. Mark over there has a ton of good stuff. He has gongs from like three inch little ones all to a 16 inch one like the one he sent me. Um, he also has rectangular 32 inch gongs which are awesome. He has zombie targets. He's got a whole army of targets over there and he is just ready to ship them to your front door. Hey, what's up guys? It's Jacob with Gunday Funday. So I recently spoke with Mark over at shootingtarget7.com and he was generous enough to donate two gongs for my channel. This one here is a 10 inch gong and this one right behind me is a 16 inch gong. They're uh, AR500 steel. They are a half inch thick and we are going to put these through the ultimate caliber test today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start small and as always with Gun Day Fun Day fashion, we will end with a bang. So stay tuned guys and I hope you like the video. Please check out shootingtarget7.com and hopefully Mark will uh, send you exactly what you need. Like I said, these targets are amazing. Okay guys, here's my dad Dusty. We're gonna start with a nine millimeter and we're gonna work our way up. Good. Good. Is that it? That's it. <laughs> All right, let's see what happened. All right guys, here we go. That's from the nine millimeter right there. Absolutely no dents, nothing. It's smooth as it was brand new. That's awesome. Let's move up and see what happens. Ready? Yeah. That was the 45. Let's see what happened. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I'm pretty sure that was a nine millimeter, nine millimeter, nine millimeter. These are all 45s. And again, it's as smooth as it was brand new. Let me get a side shot for you guys. Hopefully you can see that. ShootingTarget7.com is an amazing target. Let's kick it up a notch. I don't know about shooting that this close. No, it'll be okay. Yeah. Okay, here's the 44. You gotta get that target swinging too. <laughs> okay, that was a 44 Magnum. Here we go. <laughs> All right. There is uh, no visible damage to the surface. Now, I can show you one spot where there is a little bit of visible damage, and it's right here on the very edge of the target. And you guys might be able to see just that little spot there. So, just a little one, but other than that, it's holding up great. Hey, what's up guys? So, we've shot it with a nine millimeter, we've shot it with a 45, we've shot it with a 44. Now we're gonna go up to the biggest handgun made, the Smith & Wesson Model 500, and we're shooting it with a 350 grain bullet. Here we go.
That's it. All right, let's go look at it. All right, guys, so we shot it with a nine millimeter, a 45, a 44 Magnum, and the amazing Smith & Wesson Model 500. So this thing is smooth. The 500 didn't do anything to it. There's a little divot right here. Um, and there's the one from the 44 caliber right here. But if you look at the backside, the backside is perfectly smooth. So now we're gonna go and get some rifles and we're gonna do the same thing with rifles. Let's see how this holds up. It's doing good so far. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the AR-15 and I have an X95. Okay, here we go, dad with the X95. How do I turn this on? Oh, just spin this. Can you see? Empty. That's a fun little gun, isn't awesome. it? Isn't that That's pretty really sweet? Cool. That's pretty awesome. cool. And that little bugger is loud. Is it? Yes. Well, I had on my mouth. All right, let's go see what happened. Here we go. That was from like uh, 20-ish yards, 25 yards with the X95. Oh, we got some, uh, we got some good little divots here. We got one right here. Hopefully you can see that one. That just barely tagged the bottom of this target, but it's pretty much smooth. It made a couple divots in it. But like I said, we weren't shooting from very far away, so um, that's why you see the divots in it. Um, but if you were shooting, if you were shooting a little further away and your uh, your feet per second was below 2850, which is 2,850 feet per second, this thing would be perfectly smooth. I think even at 20 yards or 25 yards, you would still have a target that would last you years and years and years. I mean, it would take thousands and thousands of rounds to actually go through this half inch target so this thing is amazing and it's doing a wonderful job we are going to shoot some more rounds at it and we are going to go up in caliber until we unfortunately put a hole in this thing so don't think for a second though that i will leave you guys hanging because i will put a hole in this thing so stay tuned here we go okay now we're shooting the uh 10 inch gong out there with a 22250. So these things are going well over 2800 feet per second. So here it is right here. We're putting this thing through the torture test. That's it. <laughs> Okay, do you think they went through? You think they I went think through? They probably went through further than anything so far. It's actually moving about 3,900 foot per second. <sighs> That's fast. 250. Oh, yeah, the 22250, that did the most damage so far. It definitely took a chunk out. So, but it's still holding up pretty darn good. Those are, those are going really fast. All right, now we're now we're shooting a, AR a an AR-10. It's a 308. That's it. <laughs> I think I broke your chain. Did you see Thanks it? Thanks for breaking the chain. <laughs> Way to go, Dad. This is what I'm walking up to. Yeah. 
Way to go. But the, the target down. looks pretty good. The target, nothing happened to the target. Those are where the uh, 22250 hit, but I cannot visibly see where the 308 hit. So that's really good for this target. That's awesome. All right, guys, so we started out with a nine millimeter and we've worked our way all the way up. We've shot 223s, we shot 308s, we've shot a 44 Magnum, a 500 Smith & Wesson, and um, now we are stepping it up to the ultimate weapon to test this uh, sh target from shooting target seven. We are shooting the 50 BMG, and we're gonna start with a full metal jacket just to see what it does. <laughs> all right guys that was after the 50 bmg and you can see where it hit it's kind of colored right there that was from the 50 bmg it didn't do anything from 40 yards that is impressive but i have something that will do something and we're gonna do it right now okay guys the moment you've all been waiting for the armor piercing incendiary round inside a 50 BMG. We're gonna shoot it at the target. These have a small explosion right here at the top. Then it's got a tungsten core. I have a feeling this is gonna go right through this plate. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be really surprised. Here we go. Okay, here's an API round at that steel. Was there white smoke? Yeah, in fire. In fire? Yes! Yeah, we like fire! <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Look at that. That's the back side. Let's look at the front side. That is what happens when you shoot steel with an armor piercing incendiary round. Probably. All right, guys, the 50 VMG with an API round is not gonna stop Where's when you this? shoot AR-500 steel. Right here. Thanks for watching yep. guys. Make sure to smash that like button and please subscribe. See you next time. Yep.